don't know what it is about the Roblox community, bro, but it's like every month or so, I'm summoned onto my yapping pedestal to talk about mods and developers just tweaking and power tripping, bro. It's like y'all niggas really just cannot be normal for more than like, uh, like a month at a time, like really, honestly, which is honestly just bananas. Like y'all gotta stay out of trouble, and, and you know I'll, I'll stay in my hole. But now that my attention is acquired, let's uh let's talk about everything that's gone down in the Type Soul Extended Universe. If y'all keep up with general type soul YouTube, you might have seen a video by a YouTuber called Balboa just kind of discussing the state of the game. He gave some opinions, such as like the devs not balancing the stuff they use, which I'm a low key say, you know, it, it kind of feels that way. Like, as much as they want to deny it, bro, like, where are these Hawkeye nerfs at, bro? Like, it's, it's kind of no feasible explanation. He also made another really good point that there haven't really been any meaningful content additions to the game from the beginning. Hold ranked and boss raids, which, like, are just a mess. What content have they added besides new abilities? When you add a mythical Shikai or like a mythical ability or something, that's content for like 0.5% of people who get that. And I feel like when something has a 0.5% chance of being rolled, they can't really shake up the game state that much because not that many people have it. But like whether or not you agree with Balboa and what he said, I think you can just admit that what was said was an opinion. This was an opinion based video. But of course my glorious king, Big Daddy Setro Boomin didn't think so. And Big Daddy Setro, he got on he got on Discord and he pinged Balboa and said, you gotta delete your video, man. It's, it's riddled with misinformation. Stop lying about us, man, you big meanie. You big, you big, you big bully. Balboa, Balboa, Balboa. And Balboa in that moment realized that, why the fuck is this dumbass nigga talking to me like this, bro? Why is he power tripping and telling me to delete my video? And of course he's like, why the fuck would I do that? And he essentially just tells Setro to like pipe down and go back to balancing the game that he's clearly not balancing. <laughs> to which Setro unleashes all of his baby rage and immediately bans that brother from the game and Discord. <laughs> which is like, good job Setro, you just really made your dev team and yourself look very good and mature, man. You're a grown ass 22 year old man banning people for, <laughs> for opinionated videos, bro. And I love Setro's message about it too, because he's like, oh, your video's riddled with misinformation, bro. You're misinforming the public. <laughs> when in reality, the video is like the most tame thing I've ever seen. And it's just him giving his opinion, saying that like the game's pretty dry, which is valid. I, th I think he should be allowed to say that, man. I get that Setro is probably not that intelligent, but I feel like he should at least realize that like what making a move like this says to the other content creators in the space. Like I get, I understand like wanting to take down videos promoting bugs, like guaranteed Bonkai bugs or some bullshit. But the idea that Setro can just come like little bro me and try to take down my video because I said the wrong thing about him and his development team, where I said that like, oh, like you don't you don't nerf things that you use, like as in like a joking fashion. Like are you are you dead ass? Are you serious? Like if I can't say something as benign as that without Setro getting fucking baby rage and like wanting to ban me, then why how do I even feel comfortable in this community, bro? Like, what the situation shows me is that misinformation doesn't have to mean anything. Misinformation is whatever makes Setro feel bad. If Setro doesn't like your video, he gets to take it down. And if you resist that, fuck you. Because Setro's the god king and he gets to decide whose videos stay up in the type soul space. You know, not being able to talk about or criticize games really bodes well for the games and their communities, famously. You know, just look at Genshin Impact. Just a just a very strange move from my boy Setro booming, but you know we can we can always we can always right our wrongs, bro. We can always do better in the future. All right, what else? I think there's a little bit more here. Um, oh yeah, the screen the screenshot stuff. I'm not really gonna touch on that too much because I can't confirm if this is a real or not. And obviously, I don't want to slander Setro because this this could just be fake. So you know whatever. But I will say hypothetically, if they were true, that one Glazer in the Discord saying that Setro's a devout Christian and that he he could never do that because he's a devout Christian. Um, I just want to say that I was a devout Christian for 18 years, like up until last year. And that's definitely not how that works. So, I mean, whether or not he did that shit, that's really not a factor in the scenario. <laughs> but, um, that's really it for today, Chad. Uh, fare thee bye.